This is a story about a village, some sheep, and a man named Brian. There once was a village. The village ran a very successful sheep farm. Everyone in the village was tasked with looking after the sheep for wool, for meat, and for other products. The village was based in a very dangerous land where many beasts existed who wanted to eat the sheep. The village had built a very secure farm with high fences, spikes on top, and a lot of electricity running through to keep the beasts away. They also had one gate that only the villagers had access to, and a rule that said no sheep were allowed to be taken out of the farm. This was to ensure that the beasts could not eat the sheep. One day, a man named Brian appeared in the village. He had come from far, far away and wanted to learn to be a sheep farmer. He started off following the usual practices, but soon grew weary of the controls that were in place and the rules he had to obey to make sure the sheep stayed safe. He appealed to the village leaders to let him come up with a new way of managing the sheep and farming the sheep, but they all said no, the danger of the beasts taking the sheep was too great. Brian, thinking he knew better, took matters into his own hands. He created a new farm just over the hill where the, where the village could not see, and he started moving sheep one by one into his new farm. Wanting to keep the farm easy to use, Brian built low fences and had many gates. Anyone could come and go as they pleased. Initially, the beasts didn't know about the farm either, so the farm was quite prosperous, and Brian felt that his model was better than what the village was running. He was prepared to go back and tell them about how successful his sheep were. First, though, he needed to travel back to far, far away for a family wedding. While he was gone, one of the beasts discovered his new farm, and word quickly spread that there was this easier farm with lots of sheep. When Brian returned, all of his sheep were gone. What was worse was that the sheep that Brian had taken from the village's farm were the ones that were needed to revitalise the stock. Without them, the flock was struggling to sustain the village. Now imagine for a minute that that village is your company. The farm represents the systems that you're using in your business and the sheep represent the information you hold, whether it be about your customers or your people. The beasts are all the outside actors such as hackers or other malicious agents or competitors who would get value out of having your information. Brian's farm is a system that he has chosen to use instead of your main one that has less controls in place and make it easier for those external parties to gain access to that information. If this village was your farm, would you want Brian putting his sheep where you can't control them?